Newbie reporting for duty with the OG Cronin Squall. I wanted to give this one a try again because I kept getting gacked by this thing in other people's hands. So let's have a look at the configuration. Start with the stock and we'll look at the damage. 41 in the head, 38 in the upper and lower torso, pretty good. And 32 in the legs. Effective damage range, this one can reach out and touch you at 32 and a half meters. The minimum damage range all the way out to 50 meters. Bullet velocity, 790 meters per second, which is decent. And the rate of fire, 673 rounds per minute. And the rate of fire, 673.7 rounds per minute. That's somewhere just north of 10 rounds per second. Let's have a look at the kick, the recoil control, the accuracy. Recoil is actually pretty decent with this weapon. This is a composite number because I have a number of attachments on, obviously. The kick is 18.67 degrees per second not bad at all. The horizontal recoil almost non-existent at 6.46 degrees per second and the vertical recoil is pretty tough at 50 roughly degrees per second. Well as far as accuracy this is a hip fire machine the, at the minimum level anyway and uh, attack stance it's decent at five degrees per second. If you look at the speeds the crouch movement is at 2.2 but grandpa never worries about crouch movement. I don't like sniffing my own feet. Movement speed 4.3 meters per second. You're not going to win any races, relay races, or tug of wars with this weapon. Attach sprint speed at 6.3, sprint speed at 5.1 meters per second. Not fast, not slow. Uh, ADS movement speed is a decent 2.8 meters per second, and ADS speed is where this thing hurts. The way I have it configured, it's at 309 milliseconds, but I'll talk about that in a second. In fact, let's talk about it now. I have the 50 round drum on it, and that absolutely kills the ADS. It kills some of the speeds. I use the 50 round drum in free for all. I use a smaller magazine in all the other modes. If you look at the grip, the grip helps with the recoil all the way around, but only 7%. The SAB comb. The SAB comb gives you a little faster ADS, but look at the sprint to fire, 114 milliseconds. That's pretty much lightning. The ADS movement speed, though, is hurt with that comb. It's got to live with it. Finally, the XRK Edge BW4 hand stop. That's a lot of consonants. Just to say, helps with the movement speed. Helps significantly with the crouch movement and the ADS movement speed. So if you take out that 50 round drum, slap in something else or leave it at default, your ADS movement speed is going to be good. Helps with the aim down sight speed and sprint to fire. It hurts the hip fire prep spread roughly at 9%. So we're going to have to live with that. So that's the Cronin Squall as I have it configured. Like I said, multiple configurations depending on which mode I'm playing. Let's go on to the field of honor and free for all and see how this weapon performs. Before we get going into free-for-all, let's compare the Cronin Squall to one of the best guns in the game, the Bass B. Both are configured. We just went over the Cronin Squall's configuration. Green, very good for the Cronin Squall. Green highlighted, very, very good. Red, very bad. Red highlighted, very, very bad. So the Cronin Squall has a better fire rate, obviously a better fire rate per second. But the bullet velocity, much less, as is the headshot damage and the rest of the damages. That bullet velocity will come into play in the ranges just a little bit later. And as we look at the ranges, we can see that the Bass B is better by almost 6 meters in the effective damage range, minimum damage range, about 17 meters. The time to kill, 56 milliseconds better for the Bass B in the head and in the upper legs. The sweet spot for the Cronin is gonna be in the upper and lower torso. The other sweet spot, a significant sweet spot, is the recoil control. Cronin beats the Bass B hands down in this configuration and the sprint to fire speed. Look at that, 149 milliseconds for the Cronin 200, I'm sorry, 114 milliseconds for the Cronin, 263 for the Bass B. So let's take this into free-for-all. It looks a little infected here. I kind of like these maps with the uh, strange colors and the spores and the spawns and the evil things, I guess. 
You'd be shooting at the evil things. Right now what I'm trying to do is keep people away from me. Keep them at a distance and take advantage of that torso upper and lower kill rate. You can see I hit them right in the chest. And then Tommy Chong hits me right in the chest. Always best to hit somebody from behind. Whoa, there's a couple coming at me. <laughs> and we, we kind of finesse that guy. He must not be on his A game today. There. Sometimes you have to say I love you with a Renetti. It, switching out the mag was pretty slow on the 50 round mag, and that is entirely unnecessary. And he stood on a proximity mine, so I got some measure of revenge. I tell you, you got to be awake. You got to be awake when you're in free for all when you first spawn. So keeping people at a distance seems to be working okay for me. I'm in second place right now. The 50 rounds, you can see, I was just bullet hosing that guy, and I don't think he saw me among all the mold and mildew that I was laying in. Got a decent little streak going and free for all. Anytime you get a bloodthirsty, that's a good thing, especially in free for all. And somebody stepped on my proximity mine. It's one of my techniques put out as much kill hardware as possible in free for all. But I don't wear a shield anymore. I did before. All right, let's bring a fighter pilot on the scene. He'll sort things out. And I really don't care if I get gacked here. I just put it out, get it out as fast as I can. And I take revenge. And what was that? I think my own mosquito drone gacked. Oh, Grandpa, it's my down payment on buying the farm. So I threw a proximity mine at the guy. And even though he killed me, he stepped on it. You can see the fighter pilot's doing work. Basically on this map, <laughs> he's trying to annoy the fighter pilot. It's GG's once you get a, a VTOL out if you're anywhere close to the field. I think the squall does quite well on these medium size range. It's a Snickers win, 30 kills. So satisfying. Anyway, that's what I got for the day. I do have another free for all after the F4 taxis in. At the end of this, after, like I said, the, the usual log out, please like and subscribe. Peace and cheers to you. Have a look. No commentary on that other one. It was just another game that I played with the Corona and Squall. Engage and eliminate. They're outside. Because she wanted to take pictures or something. And I got to go get in the shower. I suppose. I, I think you should be a little bit more. Right out here, and you might. Name your UAV active.
Mission accomplished. 